Okay, we back at it, part two. This masculine is distraught as fuck. <laughs> this masculine is distraught as fuck. He's turning back to religion, y'all. I'm serious. I'm serious, bro. I'm serious. Oh, my goodness. It's funny because he can't take accountability. Even if he does go back to the religious part, whatever. Kudos to you. That's your goddamn business. Whatever. Look, the point is, is it going to help you? No. You're, you're, you're not taking accountability for your actions. You are not doing this. You're not taking accountability for your actions. So now religion is going to be a whole nother level to what it was before then because... Baby, them, them, them ghosts, them ancestors, they not going away. They are whooping your ass until you surrender to the divine and wake the fuck up and go to your motherfucking person. <clears throat> this motherfucker trying to balance spirituality and practicality. This motherfucker is crazy. This person is crazy. I want initials on this nigga because this shit is funny as fuck. <laughs> like... He can't, he can't just understand and accept that he chose to play the game with a snake. A snake-ass bitch that wore masks. Look how ugly she is. Divine Feminine over here. Baby, you finna get a soulmate. You finna get a soulmate. Because you did the duty, whether you're religious and spiritual, which I don't understand why would you do that. But, you know, that, that's my personal opinion. Y'all, y'all, y'all know what I know and I know what I know. <laughs> That's a little... Somebody is literally religious and spiritual. Um, okay, whatever. Do you. This mess for you. Look. There's a lot of information in this. Someone travels to the East a lot. Whatever the fuck that means. You travel from the West to the East a lot. 33rd degree. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> uh, that's just what I heard. <clears throat> I'm getting a white male... With brown hair and have a fucking. His lodge number is tatted on him. Some Masonic shit here, boy. <laughs> look, look, this, this. Okay, secret society ass shit, boy. Look at this. Who the fuck is Brian? Spirit, this person travels from the west to the east. That's some mason shit, ain't it? Okay, I okay, I, I knew. Okay, I just want to be show. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> this per okay, I just okay. Now I'm channeling some shit I don't even want to say. I'm oh oh child, nope, get it out, get it out, get it out. <sighs> I heard the word. I'm not even. No, I'm not doing that. No. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway. <clears throat> look. Somebody's dealing with a mason. He's 39. I see the number 39. He has a 16-year-old son. His third eye chakra is wide open. It's wide the fuck open. He's running from himself right now. He's running from himself. <clears throat> now, this is not going to resonate for all, but this particular masculine, I see a white male. This is a white male. Uh, now, the first couple of people, I think were black, but only pit, bits and pieces is going to fit for that story. But for y'all y'all this is so crazy right now he's about he's around a bunch of a bunch of rats he has a dog that is very loyal to him and is actually protecting him he don't know it he doesn't he does not know she's actually this color okay so she <clears throat> my throat chakra somebody don't want me <clears throat> to say this shit mason or not don't fuck with me don't do that. I'm going to tell your story. Because it's here for a reason. 
Don't ever think my guides or my ancestors are going to let me, allow me to tell some shit that I can't tell. The fuck? I have a specific mission here. Your shit will be told. This person is running from his life. This person is running from his life. He is now going back to the religious factor. Um, he's now going back to, look, the compass is right here, bitch. His third eye is way too too open, he thinks. His third eye is way out to his... <clears throat> he's, saying, he's seeing too much shit at night. He's seeing people in the right. There's a hallway or something to the right. And it's dark at night. He's seeing figures and shit. For you to be a mason, you show is scared. I, I'm just... You show scared. Like, what the fuck? Don't y'all dibble and dabble. And, you know what? Never mind. Look, anyway, look. <clears throat> look, 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 look. I just keep hearing 33rd degree. That's all I keep hearing. Look, 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 look. whatever the fuck that means. Because I'm not going to pretend like I know that. I know some shit, but I'm not going to tell y'all what I know. I just know somebody is a motherfucking Mason. And this nigga is running from his life. He likes to be around dirty, dark things and rats and shit. He's around a bunch of rats. He has a dog or an animal or something that's trying to tell him, bro, we need to get the fuck up out of here, bro. Somebody who drives a, a black car and a Cadillac. <clears throat> Somebody got an F-150 or something like that. A truck. We, we need to get the fuck up out of here, bruh. He's a motherfucker. You think you know. He reads a lot. He reads a lot because he has to. He's he's a, he's a mason. He, this person reads a lot. <clears throat> I heard Capricorn. Somebody's a Cancer. Then I'm seeing Virgo here and Taurus. This person reads a lot. Maybe listen to podcasts as well. He has a a specific bloodline that he investigates or, or get information on because he knows he's royal or he knows something like that. Something like that. He reads a lot, especially into his ancestral lineage. <clears throat> I just heard King. He's the king of something. All I seen was King right here. It's something about. And then I heard slave owner. This is some weird shit. This is like a story. This is like a fucking movie, bro. Look, all I know is this person is <clears throat> running away from himself. And we're going to see why. Why is he running away from himself? He's being led down a different path, bro. You need to wake up. Okay, he's so fucking distraught. This nigga is like, and even though he white, bitch, I'm black. I can say that shit. That's how we talk. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Anyway, look, he's just so, because there is black men here too. But the, the one that I'm reading right now, when I, every time I look at this picture, this is a white male or maybe Hispanic. This, uh, so, uh, y'all, th this person, look how, look. This motherfucker walking around that house, slumped over, dragging his feet. He has very much feminine tendencies, very, a lot of feminine tendencies. He sometimes has his robe off the shoulder sometimes, but it's, it's just him. He's not gay or anything. And if he was, so what? So what? And if he was bi, so what? Shit. Anyway, he has a lot of feminine traits, okay? More feminine energy. Especially right now, this masculine is working off of feminine energy right now. Somebody has braids. <clears throat> 22 was the biggest year of somebody's life. Somebody has an 8-year-old and somebody is 43. Um, and then 34, somebody's 34. Turning 35. No. Yes. So, 34, 43. Okay. It's my birthday on the 22nd. On February 8th, somebody's birthday just passed. Somebody has an unk. Damn, that's a lot of channeling in this motherfucker. Somebody got a nine-year-old. And they got diamonds in their ear. Somebody's favorite color is red, blue, brown. This person has a lot of gold on his neck. You're being, this is a different energy. Yes. 
Okay, so this is a different energy from this white or Hispanic male here. <clears throat> Look, this, I think this one's black. You're 34, okay. 22 was the best year of your life or something like that. Something significant happened with 22. Something significant happened around 8 and 12 years old for this masculine here. So we got multiple energies here. Take what resonate. But look, this person, you're being led out of the maze. This is a black male now. I'm seeing cornrows. This person is dreads, curls. These people are being led out of the maze from the karmic. You see you looking for your divine feminine while she's way up here. And here's a couple of the karmics here. Those are karmics. This is an older lady and this is the fucking uh, karmic feminine that's trying to come after you. She's looking for you while you're looking for her. Spirit said, keep going. You got it. The thing that you're about to do, keep going. You got it. it it's going to work out just fine. Stop stop worrying about it. Stop tripping. Divine feminine will accept you. She's, she's, she's going to accept you. <clears throat> Somebody is afraid of rejection. But the, the, the path that you're being led, you're being led to be, you're, you're highly protected. I heard and and Anubis. You're being highly protected, bro. Let me know if I said that wrong, y'all. It's A-N-N-U-B-I-S. Look, you're being highly protected. You're being led away from this fucking karma. There's an old bitch. There's an old hag, y'all. She's doing magic. She's doing magic on divine masculine because she doesn't want him to leave that family. She's doing heavy, heavy, dark magic, and she don't even know that she's about to have a heart attack from it. This is for entertainment purposes only, uh, motherfucking YouTube. I really don't know nothing at the end of the day. We just reading cards. It's just a, a card game, you know? It's a card game. Look, I'm telling you, the bitch is dark. Look, <clears throat> she probably uses a cane as a wand. No. Yes. What the fuck? She she figures since she got her energy in it, she's going to use it as a magical wand. Something that she leans on and she uses to protect her and hold her up. This is how she thinks. So she used it. The bitch is secretly in the coven. Look, let's see what magic, because we're going to get to this male here. But let's, this, this, this is some heavy shit. Spirit said we're done. This motherfucker just needs to wake up and go back to what the fuck he was doing. Because this religious factor is only going to confuse you and fuck you up even more. You're going to be in your... fuck. I see the Eight of Swords. You're going to be in your head for a long time until you do right and take accountability for what you did. That's a white male here. This male here, these these ones, they're, um, they're black. Cornrows, curls, dreads. Look. I see an afro sometimes. <clears throat> Look. Somebody 43, 34. Look, look. Let's see what this, this old bitch, what magic she using against you. The bitch is doing moon cycles. This old bitch is using moon magic and so are you. So is Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine using the moon as well. Oh shit, we just some moon ass motherfuckers in here, huh? Wicked magic may be significant. So I see, I see it in earlier. Somebody using a Ouija board. Connecting to shit that they don't need to be connecting to. And that's why motherfuckers are seeing shit in the house because spirits have been let in through a Ouija board. That's some crazy ass shit. She's using her African ancestors. No. Yes, yeah, she the fuck she is. And so is Divine Masculine. So it's funny because this old bitch and uh, this Divine Masculine is mirroring each other, actually. And they're they're actually karmic soulmates. Like, not soulmates, but they have karmic ties with each other. This old bitch and his masculine. That's why when they had conversations, the conversations was uh, very deep, very connected, very informational, low-key. Like, he always looked to her as somebody to go to when he talked to her, Okay. When he needed somebody to talk to. <clears throat> the bitch, somebody using a Ouija board. And she's drumming up her ancestors. But her ancestors really ain't fucking her like that. She always got a candle lit in her room. It's not, it, she got an amulet. It's not just a candle. The bitch is doing magic on you. Something is engraved at the bottom of those candles. And it's packed at the top. Ah, <sighs> child. Blood, sorcery, and knowledge. It landed on a 33rd. We're not doing that, Spirit. 
Okay, well, somebody's doing blood sorcery and they're gaining knowledge from it or they want to gain knowledge or they have knowledge about blood sorcery and it landed on the 33rd or whatever. Anyway, look, that bitch may, must be a secret mason too. Shit, somebody said bingo, ding, ding, ding. The divine masculine don't even know it. Some of them do, some of them don't. This is this is weird. This is a lot of information. So, I told you the bitch got an amulet. I fucking told you. The bitch got an amulet, bitch. She does bone reading. She has a cauldron. She probably an earth sign or she uses earth uh, cemetery dirt. She's a sex witch. In her younger days, she would have sex with men and they would give her what the fuck she wanted. So she's telling this karmic, you must have sex with divine masculine. Uh, well, not divine masculine because he's not your divine masculine. But you got to have sex with him to keep him. You have to get him to make anything. Uh, she said kissing. No. No, not kissing. I heard that wrong. Anything sexual. Oh, kissing down below. Any oral sex or anything sexual, y'all. It, it, it got to be exchanging fluids. She keeps telling this goddamn girl. Divine masculine don't want to fuck her. And this is why ancestors are protecting you from having sex with her. Even if you did have sex with her, I don't think the way it will it go the way that they think it'll go to old bitch in a karmic. No, it's going to backfire so goddamn bad. Um, divine masculine is highly protected. But the protection ain't going to last long if your ass don't get the fuck up out of there. We're tired. We're tired. We're tired of doing this. Like, we're tired, my nigga. What is you doing? Look. That's a lot of information, y'all. <laughs> Somebody using eggs for fertility spells. This karmic is trying to get pregnant. Oh, my goodness. She think that's a way to trap you. She think even if y'all do break up, you will always come back and visit your child. You will always co-parent for the child. Somebody's really trying to get pregnant. She figure if you still go to Divine Feminine, well, she got to read on. You're going to Divine Feminine no matter what. Your path is being led. This path is being led. Look at you getting the fuck up out of there. And then look at you being protected. And you are being resurrected to choose a different path. It is okay for you to go towards Divine Feminine. I don't know why the fuck I keep saying that. It is okay for you to surprise her or do what you... I don't know what it is that you're going to do, but it is, it is okay. I don't know. This is for somebody specific. You're not going to be rejected. It may be hard, but you deserve hardness. Like, it's just what you deserve. Look what, the, look what the fuck you brought into her life. Look what you did. Even if it's a soul contract, but you had specific choices to choose. You had specific times to choose different routes and you never did. It, it, you may get some backlash, but she wants you just as much. Don't, 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 don't let the bitch tell you she don't want you now. I'm, I'm telling you now, okay? She may act like it, she, but she wants you to work for it. And you have to work for this. If you love her, you have to work for it. Show her that you really care. Show her. Because if you don't, there's no telling her anything. You have to show this particular person something. She hasn't been shown shit in years. So why would you tell her rather than show her? You need a big gesture like that. That's for somebody specific. I don't know who the fuck that, that's for. But your ass need to go ahead and show her. Okay. It's some crazy shit. Look, look, this particular divine masculine, they're, they're being led out the fucking maze. They're protected and they're also being resurrected to choose another path. Okay. That's just what it is. This dead ass rose has anchored you down. You need to look, find a way up out of it. Fish. Somebody's 34. You may be dreaming of fish or maybe you want to go fishing all of a sudden. But she will be cut out the picture. You have to find your way back to the Divine Feminine. This bitch will be cut the fuck out. I'm telling you. She's cut out. She's gone. This dead rose that you've been watering, that's a wrap, Divine Masculine. Find your Divine Feminine. Somebody is 34, and he will be 35 this year. Go towards your Feminine, is what they just said. Um, This bitch been wearing masks. You gambled with the wrong bitch. You, you, you gave... The, a ring or y'all married so get divorced shit whatever 
you you married the fox. There's no going back, but there's only moving forward with luck on your side. You all you think about is divine feminine. Look at you. Go towards the love of your life. It'll do you some good, okay? Just go towards your baby. Just go. Y'all, look, look at the energy on this. The energy is on this. I have to give her this offer. I have to tell her how I feel. I have to do it. So my name is Christine. Christina. Chrissy. Chris Chris for short. I have to go to her. Cassie. Casey. I have to go. Cassandra, I have to go to my feminine. This is all I think about. I'm giving her this offer. Please accept me. Bruh, the only thing that you have to lose is your time and your effort. That's it. That's all That's all you got to lose because if she do reject you, it's out of either protection for the both of y'all because you're not ready or you just have to give in to more to her how she gave in to you over the years or months or whatever she's been giving in to you and not giving up on you so you don't give up on her if you give up on her after that first rejection if she rejects you you're not worthy of her she wants you to fight for it she wants you to show her okay now that may be a little eh, but she needs you to show her <laughs> bruh She's not going to believe you otherwise. Valentine's Day, it should be hers. No one else's. This is how she's thinking. You see this heart here? It should be hers. Somebody's name is Jay. Start with a J. It should be hers. Saw her, Samantha, Ashley, Aaron, Anthony. This day should be hers. You need whatever you plan on doing. Go ahead. Spirit said, go ahead. You got our our, our, our blessings. Y'all know I don't use that word. This ain't me talking, bro. Yeah, you got our blessings. You got our protection. You got it. Go ahead. Stop being scary. Do it. We're we're, we're behind you on this. Spirit said we had a we, we we came into your fucking dreams and told you it's the go ahead. So what you come back in the 3D realm being hesitant for? It's a go on the dream. We told you it's a go in the dream. So do it. Child, this is some shit today, boy. We had a lot of different energies. Let's see what this last masculine is, though. This last masculine. Don't let your pride get in your... Y'all see how that popped up? What do you need to release, Divine Masculine? Your fucking pride? Meanwhile, Divine Feminine got offers coming in. Y'all seen the card? She leaving. She gone. Where that damn ship at? She is leaving. She is aboard, abroad, bitch. She gone. Because you letting your pride get in the way. Hold your vision. Communication is key. I just shuffled these motherfuckers. Your commitment is being tested. Have faith in it. Step out of your comfort zone, divine masculine. Your dreams need a practical plan and your hard work is about to pay off. Luck is on your side. Confident is key to this. No, bruh, nothing will come from this situation if you don't fucking do something. You are very close to achieving your goals. You have to come forth to her. It is a time for healing. You are good enough to be with her. Somebody is a cancer and don't feel like they are good enough. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my God. You are good enough and you and your loved ones are safe. You are good enough. What the fuck? Someone's also an Aries. A climbing, a, a very climate, a fiery climax approaches with the karmic. Bruh, I just shuffled these cards. Spirit is not playing with you. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Show her the real you is what I heard. She's going to love you, bruh. I'm, I'm seeing smiles and giggles and happiness, and it's just going to be really beautiful. I'm seeing somebody with a big-ass bouquet of flowers at somebody's door. Look, I'm telling you, it's going to be lit. Divine Masculine. Out of all the Divine Masculines, you have a chance to show your fucking Empress how you feel about her. And you're choosing not to do it because of pride or because of ego or maybe because you're just stuck in a 3D sense for right now. Because when you get your messages through dreams, somebody's grandmother is telling you, bruh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, it's time. Come on, it's time. Do you want her to walk out your life? And you're literally having a conversation in your dream with her family and they're telling you she is walking the fuck out of your life. You, do you feel her energy? No, you don't, right? Because she pulled that motherfucker back. She is done with this shit. She's going to walk out your life. She, you're, bruh, you have to show her the real you. Somebody, she's an Aquarius. Somebody is an Aquarius. 
and or Aquarius placements. Her third eye is wide the fuck open and she know what she wants out of a man. That's just what it is. Somebody is about to lose out on the love of their life. He's going to turn around though. He's coming though. Like Spirit is saying he coming though. Like I... <laughs> Look, look, Spirit saying that motherfucker is not letting you. Is, that, is he letting you her go? Hell no. He's coming. He's coming, baby. He coming. I'm telling you. I mean, that motherfucker's not going to let no that motherfucker coming, bitch. Look, he's about to show you some shit that you're going to be happy to the motherfucker too. Oh, my God. You're going to be happy as shit. The karmic going to be pissed. But so fucking what? Y'all need this little vacation, hotel, getaway, whatever it is. Somebody going to Las Vegas. Somebody doing something. Look. Somebody going to Colorado Springs, wherever the hell that is. Um, somebody lives in Illinois. But whatever he's about to do for you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put y'all... Look how he thinks about you. He is loyal like a dog, bitch. <laughs> this motherfucker is so in love. Let's get some cards on how he feels really quick. No, let's get some... This mother, this motherfucker's in love, bro. I mean, like passion. Look, we gonna come back with another uh, part three or a new, 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 new video. Hold on.